101 ESPN now presents the Rams Blitz with Brian Stull. Hey, it's Brian Stull with your Rams Blitz for week 10 of the NFL season. As your St. Louis Rams get ready to host the New Orleans Saints this Sunday at the Edward Jones Dome, the blackout has been lifted. So turn on your TV, turn the volume down, and crank out 101 ESPN beginning at 9 a.m. with our pregame. Now, it could be that two weeks in a row, the Rams catch a lucky break. In Detroit, Calvin Johnson was injured and did not play the Lions' top receiver. This week, the Saints may be without their top safety, Darren Sharper. He's been limited in practice all week because of a knee situation, and he remains questionable officially going into the weekend. Wide receiver Marcus Colston has been battling the flu all week, but he has been better and has become more active in practice. Although the Saints will be without wide receiver Lance Moore, he's got an ankle. He is out of business, as is corner Jabari Greer. He is down. Defensive tackle Cedric Ellis will continue to be out this Sunday, and he is replaced by former Ram Anthony Hargrove, who is now a tackle with New Orleans. And if you missed it this morning, be sure to head over to 101ESPN.com and listen to the interview Brian Burwell and I conducted with Anthony Hargrove. As you remember, when he left St. Louis, it was not under the best of terms. He'd gone MIA. He was having all kinds of issues off the field, was traded to Buffalo, wound up being suspended for a full year out of the NFL, but he's been reinstated. He's got his life back together on and off the field. He's making a difference for the Saints this year, and he shares his story. Again, that interview, if you missed it, is on 101ESPN.com, and I fully recommend you go check that out. The Rams have a couple injuries of their own. As expected, Richie Incognito will not be playing this Sunday. He's been rehabbing all week, unable to practice as he comes back from that Liz Franck foot sprain. Also, CJ IU, he's still battling the ankle and actually had a bit of a regression, was not as active on Friday as he has been in the rest of the week. CJ IU will be a game time decision this Sunday. If he does not go, expect number 94, Victor Dayanju, to dress again as he has the last couple of weeks. But the biggest thing on defense to watch is Ron Bartel. He's been fully involved in practice, but that thigh is still not 100%. And we've seen Greg Jennings, we've seen Reggie Wayne, and a number of other wide receivers really test Ron Bartel with that thigh, so I'm sure Drew Brees and company are going to look to try and exploit that early and see if they're able to get the matchup they want against number 24. So that's the big one to watch, see how the bye week has helped Ron Bartel, but again, he's not 100% at this point, so that will be key this Sunday. The biggest key, however, is the Rams' offense. New Orleans comes into this game on pace to score 606 points this season. That would be the most ever in an NFL season, more so than even the greatest show on turf. Yes, I know it's painful to hear that, but this Saints offense is that good right now. So the Rams are going to have to score some points of their own to keep up. They can't put all of the pressure on the defense to keep New Orleans off the board. Steven Jackson could bode well. The last two weeks, New Orleans has given up close to 300 yards in rushing. Steven's been running well. Hopefully, he'll be able to carry the load once again for the Rams and tick some of that time off of the clock. Time possession is going to be key. Keep Drew Brees on the sideline and off the field while the Rams eat up that yardage and hopefully put some points up on the board as well. All of those things come together, we may be looking at a big upset. And that's your Rams Blitz for this Week 10 of the NFL season.